What's up guys? N here, and thanks to our awesome friends over at Pokemon, we are able to show you guys these awesome new theme decks. The Charizard one and the Drenaw. And yeah, that's just what they're called, Charizard and Drenaw. They usually have like names with them, but this works out too. I also like the fact that they have like artworks of their respective trainers with them as well. So, as you guys may know, the especially the Charizard one, like, it's been going crazy with this one here for a lot of reasons, both collector and actually competitive reasons, because this is actually a good Charizard. But, I feel people sleeping on the Dreadnought a little bit, so we're going to go ahead and open up the Dreadnought first. Show you guys what all is in this, because, again, I understand the hype of Charizard, but I feel Dreadnought's being, he's being kind of underestimated a bit. Alright. Open. And of course, we get our awesome Shatterfoil Dreadnought coin. You get yourself a paper play mat. With, especially if you're a new player to the game, these mats are kind of perfect for you. Oh wow, they made it, they made them a lot more compact too. Some of these make like double sided ones. Man, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it shows you where to put your prize cards. It tells you what you could do during your turn. The position of the bench and the active and also your deck and discard pile and on the back of it is an awesome artwork of dreadnought and charizard oh, that is so cool i like that i like that a lot Ooh. and we you do also get a little bit of a quick guide here that kind of teaches you the basics of the game and what you need to do to play all that good good stuff here Definitely something great for your beginners. It's the theme decks and the elite trainer boxes. Those are things you really, really want to pick up if you're a brand new player to the game. Because those will give you so much to work with. Oop. I was going to say we have our damage counters here as well, but the 100 one kind of fell off. I like this. It, it feels like, looks almost like a, like a reflective metallic pattern now. It's pretty cool. They definitely up their game on that. You get um, little instructions here that teach you what to do for special conditions. Very important. And this little thing right here is kind of a kind of a checklist. So for those of you who want to collect, they, these theme decks give you a checklist of every single card that's in this set. So that's really, really awesome. And it tells you a little bit about the theme deck here that you're getting. And of course, this code card here is what gives you the entire theme deck. And it's all based around this Dreadnought right here. And the main attack here is Vise Wave. For one water and two colors, does 80 damage, and if you play Nessa from your hand during this turn, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So you could potentially paralyze them every single turn if you play a Nessa every single turn. And Nessa's actually a pretty good supporter, so you'll be paralyzing them quite a bit. And we also have Surf here. For if you want to do a bit more damage, for two water, two colors, that's 140. But we have stuff like Twin Energy, we have the Frost Slash from Sword Shield Base. So you're able to get this thing powered up pretty quickly. And it has a cool shot foil of that. You, of course, do get some water energy here. Oh, you get a Duot. So I'm guessing you also get the Samurott line as well. That's awesome. Samurott was always like... The whole Oshawa line was my favorite starter out of Gen 5. So it's really cool to see that make a comeback. Okay, so this is the Nessa card that the Dreadnought was talking about. You put up to four in any combination of water Pokemon and water energy cards from your discard pile to your hand. So, as I said, it's pretty dang good. So there's not much reason for you not to play this as often as you can. So you're going to be paralyzing them a lot. Got a little chill. We got our bead or bay day, however you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I messed it up. But another way to accelerate energy. Great ball. Got Sonya. More ways to search your Pokemon. Awesome. Cramorant. Now, this is an interesting one. For continuous gulp missile for just two colors, the 60 for any Aracuda you discard from your bench. So if you discard four Aracuda from your bench, that's 240 damage you're doing right there. So if you want to break off a little bit from the team deck and do something else with the Cramorant, it helps you with that. Because you don't... Because... Pulling by a pack is fun and all, but it's also nice to have a theme deck that guarantees it. So that's really, really cool. Ooh, we got the Samurai here. Shell armor takes 30 less damage. So essentially make it out of 190 HP. One prize attacker, by the way, so... 
That's pretty amazing right there. An Aqua Wash for Water 2 Claws 120, and you may put two Energy Test your opponent's Pokemon into their hand. Ooh, that puts them behind quite a bit. Pretty good. And speaking of Aracuda from the Cramorants, there you go. Those are Aracudas you can use. You also get the non shatter version of the Dreadnought. And it's only a Stage 1, too. I probably should have mentioned that first. So, definitely much easier to bring out. Switch. Gotta have switches in your deck. You got some draw support here with Hop. And you got Dan here to help you out with draw support as well. Nessa. Oh, you even get Professor's Research in here. So, even more access to all awesome draw cards, which you normally have to pull out of packs. Got Evolution Incense right here. Wishy Washy. Got more Chudo. Do you want Energies? Got the Sonys again. Oh man, you get two Professor's Research in this. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, and that does it for the line of the Dreadnought deck. As I said, I feel like it's I feel like it's a little bit overlooked. Because potentially being able to paralyze every single turn, especially if you get the other sword shield stuff that can get your supporters back from your discard pile. Like um the Eldegoth V. That's that's really amazing. Alright. Now let's get to the one I know a lot of people have been wanting to see. That's kind of the big talk. One of the big talks of Vivid Voltage right now. And that is the Charizard theme deck. Well, like, as I said, for many, many reasons, this deck is like the talk of the town right now. For starters, Charizard next to Pikachu is the most collectible Pokemon card out there. So it's great for the collector community. But it's got something for the competitive community as well. But first, let us show off that amazing looking Shatter Foil coin right there. And of course, everything that you got from the Dreadnought, you get in the Charizard as well. The playmat, the rule book, the damage counters, the little explanation and checklist there, the status conditions. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Charizard right here. Now, this Charizard is appearing in a lot of places. The theme deck, the set, and also as a build and battle promo. So this, this card is everywhere. And all for what it does, because what it does is amazing. So first off, the ability Battle Sense is once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand and you discard the other two. That's really, really good right there because it helps you search, thin out your deck, and it helps a little bit more towards his attack here. Royal Blaze for 2 fire, does 100 damage, and his attack does 50 more damage for each Leon card in your discard pile. So not only does playing the Leon help get into the discard, obviously, but also Battle Sense. If you happen to see a Leon, discard the Leon, and you're doing more damage right here. And 2 fire energy is not hard to get at all, because we still have Welder, which play the Welder, attach a 2 right there. And that's not even your energy attachment for a turn. And this can ease this could go all the way up to 300. That's one shotting almost everything other than the V-Maxes. That's one shotting all the tag teams, all the V's out there. Like, ugh, that is massive damage. All for one prize for a one prize attacker. Like, that's incredible. And can we just admire this artwork here that shards? And you got Leon right there in the artwork too. I'm pretty sure the Drenna had Nessa. Let me see. Yes, it did. I, I'm sorry. I should have said that at first, but um, the Dreadnought did have Nessa in the background as well, so that's really, really cool. I honestly hope that every like major trainer and gym leader gets a card like that eventually, to where like we're in the, they're in the background of their card, because that is so cool. I'm a big Leon fan. Like, not like I like Nessa too, but like I, I was such a big Leon fanboy when I was playing the game, just because Leon's amazing. Arguably the best champion out there so far. And of course you got your fire energies. You got his little brother Hop. You got Lugia here from Darkness Ablaze. You got your Charmeleon, Met Cargo. Great ball. Pretty good. You got your Charmander. You got another way to accelerate if you don't have the welder. You got Bead. You got the Leon, which is actually a hollow in the set, so it is amazing right there that you just automatically get this. Because again, it's a hollow in Vivid Voltage. 
So during your turn, this Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So this boosts up the damage even more. So let's say you've already got three Leon in the discard pile. You play the Leon, that's four, and you're doing three more damage. That's 330 damage for two fire energy. That one shots almost every Pokemon VMAX out there. Like, that's incredible. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I, I need to come down. I need to come down. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm, like, I'm just... Oh my goodness, I can't! That is so cool. And you got your Ordinary Raw here too. A very, very useful card in the Charizard deck here. You got Sonya, of course, with the Switch. We got Yamega too, so it's good to have a little diversity. Got your Hop again. I'm pretty sure you get two Leon. Oh, you get Professor's Research, too. Very, very nice. I mean, I probably should have looked at the back of the um, theme, box, the theme deck box, because it does tell you everything that you get, but I like to be surprised with it. That's just me, though. Our ordinary Raw. Okay, you do get two Leon. Good, good, good. And you get the non Shadow Boy version of that. All right, guys, so that was the Charizard deck as well. It is a complete deck that you guys can go ahead and buy. And something I recommend you guys do is that if you're brand new to the game, don't really know where to go and stuff like that, and you see a theme deck that you really, really like, get two of them. Because if you buy two theme decks, you get a playset of four of everything you need. You get a playset of the Pokemon, the playset of the supporters that come with it. You max out to four. And if you buy two of these, it's only like 20 some bucks. Especially in this case, guys, if you're able to find this, because I know finding this Charizard deck is a very, very difficult thing to do right now. But there's also there are other good team decks out there. As I said, the Dreadnought one's not bad. And there have been in the past other really, really good theme decks as well. Like, um, this is going back to Unified Minds. I, yeah, I think it was, yeah, back to Unified Minds. But the Necrozma theme deck was also really, really good. So, you just gotta keep your eye out for both what you want to play and what suits you best. Because, odds are, you could probably find a theme deck out there that suits your needs. And as I said, this and Elite Trainers are the best way to get started. Because not only do you get the cards and supporters you need, but you get, but from Elite Trainer, you get the sleeves, you get the dice, you, you get everything you need. And until you get your own playmat, you're able to use this. And this is a lot more compact than ever. Because back in the old days, they had like these really gigantic ones that you had to like fold a million different ways. But this, this is a lot easier to carry around. And honestly, if you really like this, have it laminated. Have it laminated, and boom! You got it set for life right there. All right. Uh, I'll finish. I'll stop talking now. All right, guys. So if you had, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, like, comment down below, and once again, big, big, big thank you to Pokemon for letting us open these and show you guys what's in these. And so with that, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I'll see you all next time.